today I thought we would go outside and get in our gardens or just be outside in nature and do a fun craft. We're going to make a bird feeder that is eco-friendly. We are going to need a toilet paper roll, some bird seed, some twine, and some um, peanut butter. So it's going to be very easy. I'm going to take you over to my garden table and uh, let's get started. All right, so now we're sitting at the garden table and we're going to want to grab our paper, um, I guess it would be a paper tube from a toilet paper roll. Dirty. So the first step you want to do is get some peanut butter on the roll. I had a bunch of different types of peanut butter in my house that had like a little bit left in the jar. So I just made this mixture and uh, that's how we did it. So let's go ahead and coat the roll in the peanut butter. You want a nice layer all the way around so that the bird seed can stick. Now, if you've got crunchy or whatever different types, it's gonna look a little bit silly, but don't be alarmed. Just have fun with it. And it's definitely better to do this outside because this is a crazy, messy craft. But it's fun and the birds will like it. All right, so now we've got the roll completely covered. We kind of want to smooth it out, make it look all jazzy like you're decorating a cake. Give it a little nice once over. Right? Get all the little excess off because the birds are just there for the peanut butter, the, or I mean the bird seed. The peanut butter is just the glue. Right? Oh, there's some on my table. Well, what can you do? All right, so now we've got that all ready to go, all covered. So then the next step is you're gonna wanna take your bird seed. If you do it over the bowl, it might be a little bit easier and just coat it all with the bird seed. That way the bird seed can stick. You can kind of pat it down and see if there's any peanut butter left. You can keep patting it down on there. And then the birds will still find it on the ground so don't even stress about it. They just like bird seed, that's their job. All right, we're getting there, we're getting there. Let me just flip it a little bit more over. I saw this video online and I was like, oh my gosh, the girls will love this. All right, so now we've got it all the way around. Tons of food on there. It's fabulous, I love it. So, you can go ahead and stand that up, okay? And then the next step is you, you're going to want to get some string, some ribbon, some yarn, whatever you've got, shoelaces even could work, and cut it really, really long because you're going to want to hang this from a tree or a plant holder or whatever you've got that the birds can find. So it needs to be pretty long. All right. So then you're going to want to pick it back up with your two fingers and put the twine on the inside and kind of guide it all the way through so it comes out the other side. Let's see if I can make this work. Oh, there it is. Pull it through. Then you're going to want to take the ends and give it a nice big knot. Do a couple of them just to make sure that it's really, really tight. Okay, really tight. I'm doing, I'm gonna do four, just so that we know if the birds land on it, it won't fall on the ground. See, give it a nice pull, and now it's ready to go. So, let's move over to my bird stand where I'm gonna hang it and uh, see how it looks. So, now we've got it on the string. Look how fun that is, I love it. So jazzy. So, then we're gonna hang it I've just got this extra plant stand hang it just like that and you can make multiple ones for the trees if you have a stand like this you can you know hang a bunch of them and now it's nice if you uh, hang it outside your window and you can see the birds enjoying it you can also use a pine cone that's always a classic way to make a bird feeder or um, try this and let me know how it works out for you send me pictures 
um, on Facebook and let me know how it worked out for you. All right, girls. I love you and I miss you and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.